Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. So, we are back from investigating the first day for Risei's disappearance. So what we know is that there's a photographer that hangs out on the floodplain sometimes, so we're gonna check that out tomorrow. But we can't actually hang out with Nanako because it says that we're not gonna advance our social link. So we're gonna go upstairs and actually read a book. So we're gonna read, uh, we're gonna read 100 ghost stories and we're gonna continue on with that into the next day. So, let's jump right into it. You begin reading 100 ghost stories, 100 unexplainable stories which have been passed down since ancient times are anthologized in this book. But as you read on, you feel as if you've heard a number of them before. There are still some pages of 100 ghost stories left. We decided to save them to read next time. Okay, so it looks like we're reading horror stories this is to help our courage. And it seems like today is gonna have a thunderstorm all right, let's go and figure this out. Yo! All right, so it's Chie morning, Yukun. It looks like it's going to rain all day today. They said it's not going to last until tomorrow, so I don't think this fog's going to appear, but uh, are you worried too? Yeah, the stuff that's on the Midnight Channel lately is pretty rough, but we can't get impatient. We need to make sure we're ready and to rescue her before things get completely out of hand. That is true. All right, so just a little quick little conversation with Chie about our little um, how <laughs> how concerned we are and we're gonna have to get some information from Teddy so we are going to work around this area let's uh, ask people around the school so let's ask this guy ah it's not just raining it's thundering too so I so don't want to go to work I bet we're not even going to get customers anyways so let's go downstairs maybe we have some more luck there and then we can go to the floodplain after. So, hey man, shh, hey, uh, I totally know this already, but that doesn't mean I want to hear it from someone else, you know? So, I gotta tell you, you gotta tell me about Risei Kuchikawa. What happened? She's coming to Inaba. Wah! No way, no way, no way. That's just no freaking possible, man. Seriously, it's totally impossible. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. Come on, it's like all the talk of the town. Huh, Risei Kuchikawa? Yeah, I see her pretty often. My dad's a total remote hog, so it's not like I've got a choice. Alright, so we are going to check out these areas over here. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Hey, yo man, I hate all this rain, even though Syracuse the place to go on rainy days. There's a limit on how much rain I can handle. Okay, so that guy doesn't really help us. Risei Kuchikawa? Oh, you're not the only one who's looking to get the scoop on her love life. In fact, I know there's at least one boy who considers himself one of her biggest fans. He's probably still hanging around here if he hasn't still gotten home yet. Alright, so it looks like we found one of them. I really don't care about the idols that come by the shopping district. So she's at the tofu store? Weird. I gotta go there today to run an errand for my grandma. Why are you giving me that look? It's just an errand, okay? Alright, so we are gonna run to the practice building. Check out what's over there. Alright, so this is the first floor and let's see what's up on the second floor. Practice building, second floor. All right, let's check out these people over here. You wanna know something about Rosette? She has some nice legs, I'm really jealous. I see her in some of my fashion magazines, but eh, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of her or anything. So you're looking for info on Risei Kujikawa? Yeah, I've heard a few rumors, but I haven't seen her yet. Wouldn't it be easier if you asked one of her fans? Very true. Alright, let us talk to these people. Did you hear Rosette's coming to the shopping district? Wow, I can't help but wonder what uh, the reason is behind the sudden announcement of a hiatus she made. I wonder if something happened. I really want to know. Talk to this guy. Sigh. I can't make, or I can't wait to make artwork as fine as my masters. Okay, let's talk to this kid right here. Rosette, I'm her biggest fan. I'm like diehard Rosette. You are too? Uh, no? Well, ask me anything you want to know. A real Rosette fan like me should be able to give you the minute, minutest details. Oh, you just want to know, like, a status update? Well, nothing been bigger than the bomb she dropped about t uh, taking time off for a little R&R. &R. Her blog may have some hints about why, but, well, there are a lot of theories out there. As a fan, I'm devastated, but I know there's not much I can do about it. If you want more, uh, more... Up to the minute info, shouldn't you the one be asking someone in the media or something? Maybe I'll send a letter through her fan club. <laughs> I wonder if those even will reach her now. 
It seems like Rosette has a lot on her mind. Perhaps you should ask around. All right, so now we have some info. We were able to get that cutscene, and now we are going to go to the floodplain. All right, so we talked to her mom, and she said to come here to talk to a guy with a camera. Is this guy? Photographer. Yeah, perfect. How's it going? Oh, you came to ask about Risei Kujikawa? You're looking for info about Risei too? Well, how about this? Why don't you exchange information? Why don't we exchange information? You tell me what you know, and I'll tell you what I know. The people in the shopping district are making it hard for me to do any information gathering. Trade information. You decide to give some information about Risei. She's different on TV. I think she's stressed. Um, she's different on TV. We'll check that out. Hmm, as I thought, to be honest, I used to do a little digging into Rosette's private life. I was surprised to discover that she's totally different than on TV. You'd never recognize her in real life. Though, when you think of an idol, you should honestly just assume manufactured personality, too. He seems to know some other things about Risei. Maybe you should inquire further. So we're going to ask him some more. I think she's stressed. So she's worried about something, huh? Maybe it had something to do with... No, actually, she's probably just worried about the TV coverage recording regarding the shocking hiatus. I heard that Rosette was getting tired of her made-up personality. The real me and the different me who has to act like an idol. She couldn't stand living two lives anymore and something like or something like that. Well, you didn't give me anything new, but thanks for the info. I can at least turn this into something. If you put together the information the paparazzi gave you. It seems that Rise was acting as a manufactured, manufactured personality, and she was worried about her real self and her idol self. She was surely worrying about her true self. You seem to have gained some insight regarding Rise. You should report this to Teddy. Alright, it seems like we, we have unlocked that, so now we can go to town and then go to Junas and head on to that area so we go over here and get everybody to the food court and now we can see what to do from here okay that's all of us all right so we are con confirmed the information it's really annoying we know exactly who the culprit would target next and yet uh what's done is done we got no choice now but to go in but man the midnight channel is becoming a mess Let's hurry and rescue her. Yosuke, you better not slack off, hoping she'll bear it all if we take our sweet time. I wouldn't put a stunt like that. <laughs> What's with the silent treatment? I wouldn't do that, I swear. Believe me, I know. We'll rescue Rise before the fog sets in. Alright, so now we're going to enter the TV. Alright, let's go. And then we have the information for Teddy, so we should be able to get that. Very nice. Awesome. So we got that pretty quick, I think. Hey, Sensei. You look like you found some clues. Yep. So we just come over here, talk to him. Did you find out more about this girl, Rise Chan? We did. Hmm. Uh -huh. Her real self. Her real self. She's been struggling, just like Hannah Montana, about the best of both worlds. I see. She's just like me, the delicate, sentimental type. Uh, I guess so. I guess one way and... to put it. Hmm. Ah, there's something out there. Is this it? Did I find her? Good job, Teddy. Follow me. And off we go, guys. We found. Here we are. What is this place? It's all dark. It's pretty dark. There's the lights. Oh, what is this? It's like a love hotel. What is this? Like a strip club? It looks like a strip club. Not that I've been to one, but. Whoa. Is this a strip club? Like the kind you always find in resort towns. Yeah, I think I think they're they're kind of hint hinting at it. Oh, I think you're right. Ugh. Oh, but we don't have one. Our inn is not like that. <laughs> Are you sure, Yukiko? Huh. So this is a strip joint. Called it. Hey, Kanji. Strip? <laughs> I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? Oh my God, Teddy, you are adorable. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> strip, like a zebra, that, right? That's stripe. It's so bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. I like the music. Doesn't anyone get the joke? Okay, let's try one more time. All right. Strip. It's something zebras have. <laughs> come on, come on! You guys have to laugh. It's so hard to be a comedian and no one's laughing. Can anyone check this thing up? <sighs> that's the worst thing you could say, Chie. You jerk. Sorry, what are we talking about? Alright. 
I, I won't say it again. It's okay, Teddy. I know Let's the feel. That feel one. All right. Looks like we've unlocked the dungeon. You have pinpointed Risei's location. All I have to do now is rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. Very awesome. So now we have the uh, Moroku Striptease Seats. So we, we found the dungeon, and on the next episode, we're going to go head on inside. We should be able to clear this dungeon. So the next few episodes are just us clearing the dungeon, and then from there, we're going to do the other things. All right. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time when we tackle this dungeon.